Hey, hope you are doing great and welcome to this video as you can see we are talking today about uh, a year after coding bootcamp in particular I did App Academy uh, and many of you know that and can deduct that I did uh, the coding bootcamp that the thing that is not obvious is the fact that I actually was a, already a programmer and in particular was a programmer who had eight years of professional experience programming and I was programming in particular in C Sharp um, and I decided to do a bootcamp. So a lot of you already asked and the people who just see this like might be wondering like why a professional engineer will be joining a tech bootcamp and I'll address that in a moment um, but what I want to talk in this video is that okay it's been a year since I joined or since I graduated if I'm being specific, um, the technical bootcamp that I uh, I, I did, um, thoughts, answering some questions and stuff like that. So uh, if you have been here on this channel and you saw some of my videos, most likely you've seen my honest or super honest review about App Academy and my experience and I'll link it somewhere here if you want to find it and watch it. Um, I don't think my opinion changed that much. So if I were really quickly to give a TLDR is that I was unhappy with my experience. Uh, I think that um, it was for what happened in my case. I don't know for other cohorts or other people experience, but in my case, uh, the bootcamp experience, it was not what I expected, nor was it at the level um, uh, of this program that it should have been for $31,000 uh, that uh, the, the program has. Um, long story short, it had a lot of issues. The curriculum was good at the beginning, but it started to, towards the end, it started to lack. It was not as good a quality. It had, uh, it had bugs. Uh, some here and there it had links to external resources. You go to like, hey, what is Big O notation, go and watch this video. Uh, to be honest, it was not all the curriculum like that, but it had places where some modules most likely were like, you have to, to learn something outside. So the, what I'm trying to say here is that a good thing, I'm trying to look from the positive side is that you are learning uh, to understand that there are resources and you can learn this by yourself. You don't need a program, a paid, a premium program to, to learn all these things. Uh, but on the other side, what sucks is that a lot of people get sucked into this and they believe that if they pay and they will get a better education or they will get a better training and the reality that was not the case in, our, in my scenario. And the other thing that was kind of sucked a lot, it was that the students that, actually the students, they are actually students, but the TAs that my cohort had, they were students who just graduated uh, from their curriculum. And uh, it, what made it even worse, it, worse, it was that the, they graduated from a curriculum that was not the same as the curriculum that we were learning. So I understand that the student needed the job, needed to, to get some experience, to get going. Uh, and I admire and I respect them. They are really nice people. But from a perspective of a person that is trying to learn to code and pre uh, pays premium dollars, um, I expected to have a person who actually has at least some experience coding, not just learning, right? Um, and that were a few things. But kind of the bigger question is, did I learn anything from doing the bootcamp? And the answer, yes, I learned. Um, the question is like, did I learn because of App Academy or the coding bootcamp or was it because I learned it? And I think in those cases, it's it, some of it, I have to be honest, some of it, it was because I learned from App Academy because that material was in the curriculum. But if I stopped to where the information what was provided in the App Academy curriculum, I would have not known what I know today. And granted, we have to continue and learn and grow and expand. Um, but when I needed to find out answers to things that didn't make sense in the curriculum, there were bugs or 
things, information that was contradicting each other, um, I could not get the answer from the TAs. They didn't know, um, they were Googling stuff, and obviously multiple times I tried that and at the end, apparently me and other students in the cohort, they were just knowing that they have to rely on themselves and they need to continue and reach and get the answers to their information by themselves. So I would say the majority of the things that I know is because of me, because I didn't give up where something didn't make sense, I continued to work and stuff like that. So the question here is that um, if you want to learn and you are a self-starter and you don't get stuck when you don't get the answer you need or you don't get the clarification you need, uh, then a bootcamp might be for you. Um, the question is like, you should ask yourself, is that like, what are you getting worth that money? Um, because there are a lot of people who boot camps change their life. They become financial independent from after doing a boot camp, after continuing studying and getting a job. So there are decent and good programs. I have to be <laughs> transparent and don't, don't say that boot camp is not something good, but you need to be careful which boot camps you are choosing and just being aware of actually what you're signing up for, being actually clear on what are you paying for, not just say, hey, I'm paying $75,000 and as I'm coming out of that, I'll know everything, I'll have a job right away, or they will hold my, hold my hand until I get a job. And that's not the reality. The soon as you go through the bootcamp, you do all your all your tests or your assess assessments, projects, you do your capstone. As soon as you graduated, after that, you're basically on your own. And kind of the question is, can you get a programming job immediately after you graduated? And the answer in most cases is no, because you need to prepare to pass a coding interview. The coding interview, as you might already know, is that you need to do coding challenges. You need to be able to do data structures and algorithms, all that stuff. And the curriculum, it's like, I think through the program that I did six months, uh, algorithms and data structures, I think it was one day or three days, something like that. And uh, trust me, just doing a few days of data structure and algorithms is not enough to pass a coding interview. So it's rarely that you will get a job programming job um, immediately after you're graduated. It most likely will be two to six months. That's a kind of a more realistic time because after you graduate, you practice and practice and practice solving coding challenges, doing data structures, algorithms, and growing and understanding, preparing what is needed for a technical interview. At that time, you already have the mindset, the practice and all that stuff, and then you can get the job. So the answer is that it's really unlikely that you will get a job immediately after you graduated a coding bootcamp. So the next question that I, I get asked a lot is that, do I recommend doing a coding bootcamp? And I answered somewhat this, but what I'm saying is that um, there are good things from coded boot, good boot camps, coding bootcamps. They are like, you have a structure, you have, an, um, you have accountability, you might have like, people who are going through that. So it's camaraderie. I think I pronounced that correctly finally. Uh, you can, uh, have people going through the same thing. There are benefits. Um, the question is also at the same time, is all of this what I mentioned worth the money? Um, because if you are a person who needs a kind of accountability, then I would say, yes, the bootcamp makes sense to, to do that investment for you. If you know that you cannot uh, learn by yourself because you're starting and you get uh, derailed or something like that. But if you're a person who can pick up and learn things by themselves. They don't need um, accountability or they don't need somebody to to call, keep them going. Then learning, um, being going with the self-taught route and becoming software engineering uh, might be the answer for you. Um, so it depends on your situation and your scenario. So like, why did I do a coding bootcamp as a 
a person who has already experience in coding as, as a professional, let's say. Um, in my case, it was the context is that um, I wanted, a lot of you probably will call it laziness, but let's, okay, without filters, let's say I was lazy. Uh, I just wanted to know exactly what I need to learn. I, want to, I ha wanted to have a predefined program that I know is relevant today. Because if you Google stuff today in the internet, it's a lot of information. It's, I would say it's an information overload. And I'm a person who tends to try to dive deep into a lot of things. And when there's so much, many things that you have to learn, um, you, it, you can get easily distracted and spend more time on things that are not necessary right now. So uh, I needed something that will keep me learning with the information that is needed just in time. Here's, this is information you need to learn today. This is information you need to learn tomorrow. So I needed that program. So it sounds like I paid for that, um, but I was able to learn stuff um, because I knew how to search for information or program or test or something like that. Um, but at the same time, I didn't had enough time to do that by myself. So I, I needed something that I will keep me accountable. I needed something that will keep me going. Um, and at the same time, uh, I wanted to, to do this, this thing. I, for the longest time, I have been suffering from imposter syndrome and I felt that whatever I'll pick up to be learning might be not the thing that needs to be learned. So I was like, okay, I, I think I will feel that I'm, I'm not good at picking what is needed. So long story short, I, I, I did that because I thought it's the right thing. Um, and it honestly was not what I expected. But um, another aspect is that people asking like, well, if you're already a professional software engineer who coded for eight years, like why do you need to do a coding bootcamp? And the answer was there uh, that I engineered and I wrote programs, software, right? In C Sharp doing uh, MES. And what MES stands for, it's manufacturer execution, <laughs> execution um, system software, right? Uh, so that was basically application that was running on desktop. So I knew how to do that. What I wanted to do, I wanted to do web development and web development is completely different. It like programming principles might be the same, but the technology, the stack and libraries, framework, all that stuff, it's completely different. So I would say there are two niches in technologies that are different. And that's why I needed to go to a coding camp. I would say not needed. I decided to go to a coding boot camp. Um, so the final question, like I, I can talk about this a lot, but the final question here is that, um, what do you get out of it? Like one thing that for sure you will get from any boot camp is I believe that all of them will teach you that you need to self rely on yourself, um, that you are the person who needs to learn. You are the person who needs to drive and get the information you need. You are the person who needs to continue to get the information that you already got to get uh, deeper into that knowledge and get, get um, more depth in the knowledge you have, but at the same time to try to widen the breadth of the knowledge that you have. So kind of, it teaches you to continue to search and learn. Uh, hopefully that's the case and hopefully that makes sense. Basically, it teaches you to be self-reliant self and that's a skill that is needed in software engineering for sure. So all that being said, Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, is it worth it or not is your decision. But please, if you do decide to go to a coding bootcamp, here are the things that you need to, to know before you do a coding bootcamp. Be clear about what you're paying for. Uh, what is the program? Who is teaching the classes in the bootcamp? What is the structure uh, in your bootcamp? And um, 
stuff like that. Are you going to do data structures? How much of your days algorithms, how much of your day it's practice and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, if you found this video useful, make sure to share it with anybody who might be uh, needing this information at this time because they are wondering of joining a bootcamp, thinking of career switching and stuff like that. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified on the next videos that I'll be posting soon.